po sa inyo, I'm Ian Hard Gutierrez, I'm a third year nursing student, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about lung disease, pneumoconiosis. What is pneumoconiosis? Pneumoconiosis is one of a group of interstitial lung disease caused by exposure and inhalation of certain dust particles that damage the lungs. Pneumoconiosis is also called occupational lung disease because the dust particles that cause it are usually encountered in the workplace. What happens during pneumoconiosis? When dust minerals are inhaled, dust particles can either land in the bronchial tubes or go all the way into the air sacs or alveoli found deeper in the lungs. If the inflammation is severe enough, it can cause scarring in the lung tissue known as pulmonary fibrosis. If a larger area of the lungs is affected or inflammation and fibrosis are severe, they may cause symptoms of pneumoconiosis. Cause of pneumoconiosis There are many mineral dusts that can cause the condition. Depending on the type of dust, the disease is given a different name. Asbestosis is caused by asbestosis fiber. Aluminosis is caused by aluminum. Coal workers' pneumoconiosis, also called miner's lung, black lung, and anthracosis, is caused by coal dust. Silicosis, also called potter's rat or grinder's disease, is caused by silica dust. Risks factor for the condition includes a range of jobs that may bring a person exposed to dust particles such as plumbing, roofing, and building, coal mining, and textile workers. Another risk factor is smoking and inadequate or inconsistent use of protective equipment such as respirators. Symptoms of pneumoconiosis no symptoms may exist early in the disease because dust can build up slowly and reaction in the lungs may take many years to occur. Key symptoms include shortness of breath or difficulty breathing or dyspnea, chest tightness, and coughing with or without mucus. Hypoxemia or low blood oxygen level may also occur if the condition involves a larger area or causes severe scarring. Diagnosis The condition may be diagnosed by routine workplace surveillance or it can also be diagnosed when a person previously exposed to mineral dust develops symptoms. If symptoms develop, you may undergo through the following diagnostic tests. Physical examination, including personal history of work exposure. Chest x-ray or CT scan can reveal inflammation or scarring in the lungs. Pulmonary function test to check the level of oxygen reaching the blood from the lungs. A biopsy test is sometimes recommended to rule out other diseases. Treatment for pneumoconiosis No cure exists for this condition and there are also no specific treatment or medication. Once the disease has been diagnosed, treatment is aimed at keeping it from getting worse and controlling your symptoms. 
Decreasing symptoms and improving quality of life treatment options may include Prescribing oxygen when hypoxemia is present Smoking cessation for smokers Using bronchodilators Regular checkups to help manage the disease and spot any progression And that's gonna do it for my video presentation about pneumoconiosis. I hope you guys learned something and thank you for watching.